Joshua 18. The territories of the remaining tribes. Then the whole congregation of the people of Israel assembled at Shiloh, and set up the tent of meeting there, the land lay subdued before them. There remained among the people of Israel seven tribes whose inheritance had not yet been apportioned. So Joshua said to the people of Israel, How long will you be slack to go in and take possession of the land, which the Lord, the God of your fathers, has given you? Provide three men from each tribe, and I will send them out that they may set out and go up and down the land, writing a description of it with a view to their inheritances, and then come to me. They shall divide it into seven portions, Judah continuing in his territory on the south, and the house of Joseph in their territory on the north. And you shall describe the land in seven divisions and bring the description here to me, and I will cast lots for you here before the Lord our God. The Levites have no portion among you, for the priesthood of the Lord is their heritage, and Gad and Reuben and half the tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance beyond the Jordan eastward, which Moses the servant of the Lord gave them. So the men started on their way, and Joshua charged those who went to write the description of the land, saying, Go up and down and write a description of the land, and come again to me, and I will cast lots for you here before the Lord in Shiloh. So the men went and passed up and down in the land and set down in a book a description of it by towns and seven divisions, then they came to Joshua in the camp at Shiloh, and Joshua cast lots for them in Shiloh before the Lord, and there Joshua apportioned the land to the people of Israel, to each his portion. The Territory of Benjamin the lot of the tribe of Benjamin according to its families came up, and the territory allotted to it fell between the tribe of Judah and the tribe of Joseph. On the north side their boundary began at the Jordan, then the boundary goes up to the shoulder north of Jericho, then up through the hill country westward, and it ends at the wilderness of beth -Avon. From there the boundary passes along southward in the direction of Luz, to the shoulder of Luz, the same as Bethel, then the boundary goes down to Adaroth Adar upon the mountain that lies south of Lower beth -Huron. Then the boundary goes in another direction, turning on the western side southward from the mountain that lies to the south, opposite beth -Huron, and it ends at kiriath Baal, that is, kiriath Jerim, a city belonging to the tribe of Judah. This forms the western side. And the southern side begins at the outskirts of kiriath Jerim, and the boundary goes from there to Ephron, to the spring of the waters of Nephtoah then the boundary goes down to the border of the mountain that overlooks the valley of the son of Hinnom, which is at the north end of the valley of Rephaim, and it then goes down the valley of Hinnom, south of the shoulder of the Jebusites, and downward to Enrogel, then it bends in a northerly direction going on to Enshemesh, and thence goes to Jelilith, which is opposite the ascent of Adumim, then it goes down to the stone of Bohan the son of Reuben, and passing on to the north of the shoulder of Beth Arabah it goes down to the Arabah, then the boundary passes on to the north of the shoulder of Beth Hogla, and the boundary ends at the northern bay of the Salt Sea, at the south end of the Jordan, this is the southern border. The Jordan forms its boundary on the eastern side. This is the inheritance of the tribe of Benjamin, according to its families, boundary by boundary round about. Now the cities of the tribe of Benjamin according to their families were Jericho, Beth Hogla, Emekazes, Beth Arabah, Zemarim, Bethel, Avam, Para, Afra, Chepharimoni, Ophni, Geba twelve cities with their villages, Gibeon, Rama, Beerath, Mizpeh, Chephara, Moza, Rechem, Irpil, Terala, Zela, Hyalef, Jebus, that is, Jerusalem. Jiba and Kiriath Jerim 14 cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of Benjamin according to its families. Joshua 19. The Territory of Simeon. The second lot came out for Simeon, for the tribe of Simeon, according to its families, and its inheritance was in the midst of the inheritance of the tribe of Judah. And it had for its inheritance Beersheba, Sheba, Molada, Hazarshual, Bala, Izem, El Talad, Bethul, Horma, Ziklag, Beth Markaboth, Hazar Susa, Beth Lebaeth, and Cheruhan thirteen cities with their villages, and Rimon, Ether, and Ashan four cities with their villages, together with all the villages round about these cities as far as Baalath Beer, Rama of the Negeb. 
This was the inheritance of the tribe of Simeon according to its families. The inheritance of the tribe of Simeon formed part of the territory of Judah, because the portion of the tribe of Judah was too large for them, the tribe of Simeon obtained an inheritance in the midst of their inheritance. The Territory of Zebulun The third lot came up for the tribe of Zebulun, according to its families. And the territory of its inheritance reached as far as Sarad, then its boundary goes up westward, and on to Mariel, and touches Dab's hate then the brook which is east of John Am, from Sarad it goes in the other direction eastward toward the sunrise to the boundary of Kisloth Tabor, thence it goes to Dabrath, then up to Jephiah, from there it passes along on the east toward the sunrise to Gath Heper, to Eth Kazan, and going on to Rimmon it bends toward Ni, then on the north the boundary turns about to Hanathon, and it ends at the valley of Ephtal, and Kadath, Nahalal, Shimron, Idala, and Bethlehem twelve cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of Zebulun, according to its families these cities with their villages. The Territory of Issachar The fourth lot came out for Issachar, for the tribe of Issachar, according to its families. Its territory included Jezreel, Chisileth, Shinnam, Haparaim, Shin, Anaharoth, Rabbath, Kishon, Ebez, Remoth, Enganim, Enhada, Beth Pase. The boundary also touches Tabor, Shahazuma, and Beth Shemesh, and its boundary ends at the Jordan 16 cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of Issachar, according to its families the cities with their villages. The Territory of Asher The fifth lot came out for the tribe of Asher according to its families. Its territory included Helkoth, Hali, Bitten, Akshaf, Alam Melech, Ahmed, and Mishil. On the west it touches Carmel and Sheer Libnath, then it turns eastward, it goes to Beth Dagon, and touches Zebulun and the valley of Ephtal northward to Beth Emek and Neel, then it continues in the north to Kabul, Ebron, Riab, Haman, Kana, as far as Sidon the Great, then the boundary turns to Rama, reaching to the fortified city of Tyre, then the boundary turns to Hosat, and it ends at the sea. Mahalab, Aqzab, Umma, Afek, and Riab 22 cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of Asher according to its families these cities with their villages. The Territory of Naphtali The sixth lot came out for the tribe of Naphtali, for the tribe of Naphtali, according to its families. And its boundary ran from Helaf, from the Okan Zaananim, and Adaminakeb, and Jabneel, as far as Lakam and it ended at the Jordan, then the boundary turns westward to Aznoth Tabor, and goes from there to Hukok, touching Zebulun at the south, and Asher on the west, and Judah on the east at the Jordan. The fortified cities are Zidim, Zer, Hamath, Rakath, Chinarath, Adamah, Rama, Hazer, Kadesh, Edrai, Enhazer, Urin, Migdalel, Horam, Bethanath and Beth Shemesh 19 cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of Naphtali according to its families the cities with their villages. The Territory of Dan The seventh lot came out for the tribe of Dan, according to its families. And the territory of its inheritance included Zora, Eshtoel, Iar Shemesh, Shalabin, Ijalan, Ithla, Elon, Timna, Ekron, LTK, Gibethon, Baalath, Jihad, Baini Barak, Gath Rimmon, and Mejarkin and Rakan with the territory over against Joppa. When the territory of the Danites was lost to them, the Danites went up and fought against Leshem, and after capturing it and putting it to the sword they took possession of it and settled in it, calling Leshem, Dan, after the name of Dan their ancestor. This is the inheritance of the tribe of Dan, according to their families these cities with their villages. Joshua's Inheritance When they had finished distributing the several territories of the land as inheritances, the people of Israel gave an inheritance among them to Joshua the son of Nun. By command of the Lord they gave him the city which he asked, Timnath Sarah in the hill country of Ephraim, and he rebuilt the city, and settled in it. These are the inheritances which Eleazar the priest and Joshua the son of Nun and the heads of the Fathers' houses of the tribes of the people of Israel distributed by Lot at Shiloh before the Lord, at the door of the tent of meeting. So they finished dividing the land. 
Joshua 20. The Cities of Refuge. Then the Lord said to Joshua, Say to the people of Israel, Appoint the cities of refuge, of which I spoke to you through Moses, that the man's lair who kills any person without intent or unwittingly may flee there, they shall be for you a refuge from the avenger of blood. He shall flee to one of these cities and shall stand at the entrance of the gate of the city, and explain his case to the elders of that city, then they shall take him into the city, and give him a place, and he shall remain with them. And if the avenger of blood pursues him, they shall not give up the slayer into his hand, because he killed his neighbor unwittingly, having had no enmity against him in times past. And he shall remain in that city until he has stood before the congregation for judgment, until the death of him who is high priest at the time, then the slayer may go again to his own town and his own home, to the town from which he fled. So they set apart Kadesh in Galilee in the hill country of Naphtali, and Shechem in the hill country of Ephraim, and Kiriatharba, that is, Hebron, in the hill country of Judah. And beyond the Jordan east of Jericho, they appointed Bezer in the wilderness on the tableland, from the tribe of Reuben, and Ramoth in Gilead, from the tribe of Gad, and Golan in Bashan, from the tribe of Manasseh. These were the cities designated for all the people of Israel, and for the stranger sojourning among them, that anyone who killed a person without intent could flee there so that he might not die by the hand of the avenger of blood, till he stood before the congregation. Joshua 21 Cities allotted to the Levites Then the heads of the fathers' houses of the Levites came to Eleazar the priest and to Joshua the son of Nun and to the heads of the fathers' houses of the tribes of the people of Israel, and they said to them at Shiloh in the land of Canaan, The Lord commanded through Moses that we be given cities to dwell in, along with their pasture lands for our cattle. So by command of the Lord the people of Israel gave to the Levites the following cities and pasture lands out of their inheritance. The lot came out for the families of the Kohathites. So those Levites who were descendants of Aaron the priest received by lot from the tribes of Judah, Simeon, and Benjamin, thirteen cities. And the rest of the Kohathites received by lot from the families of the tribe of Ephraim, from the tribe of Dan and the half-tribe of Manasseh, ten cities. The Gershonites received by lot from the families of the tribe of Issachar, from the tribe of Asher, from the tribe of Naphtali, and from the half-tribe of Manasseh in Bashan, thirteen cities. The Merarites according to their families received from the tribe of Reuben, the tribe of Gad, and the tribe of Zebulun, twelve cities. These cities and their pasture lands the people of Israel gave by lot to the Levites, as the Lord had commanded through Moses. Out of the tribe of Judah and the tribe of Simeon they gave the following cities mentioned by name, which went to the descendants of Aaron, one of the families of the Kohathites who belonged to the Levites, since the lot fell to them first. They gave them Kiriath Arba, Arba being the father of Anak, that is Hebron, in the hill country of Judah, along with the pasture lands round about it. But the fields of the city and its villages had been given to Caleb the son of Jephunneh as his possession. And to the descendants of Aaron the priest they gave Hebron, the city of refuge for the slayer, with its pasture lands, Libna with its pasture lands, Jotir with its pasture lands, Eshtimo with its pasture lands, Holon with its pasture lands, Debir with its pasture lands, An with its pasture lands, Jeddah with its pasture lands, Beth Shemesh with its pasture lands nine cities out of these two tribes, then out of the tribe of Benjamin, Gibeon with its pasture lands, Gabal with its pasture lands, Anathoth with its pasture lands, and Almon with its pasture lands four cities. The cities of the descendants of Aaron, the priests, were in all thirteen cities with their pasture lands. As to the rest of the Kohathites belonging to the Kohathite families of the Levites, the cities allotted to them were out of the tribe of Ephraim. To them were given Shechem, the city of refuge for the slayer, with its pasture lands in the hill country of Ephraim, Gazer with its pasture lands, Kibzaim with its pasture lands, Beth Haran with its pasture lands four cities, and out of the tribe of Dan, Eltik with its pasture lands, Gibethon with its pasture lands, Ijalan with its pasture lands, Gathrimon with its pasture lands four cities, and out of the half tribe of Manasseh, Tonich with its pasture lands, and Gathrimon with its pasture lands two cities. 
the cities of the families of the rest of the Kohathites were ten in all with their pasture lands. And to the Gershonites, one of the families of the Levites, were given out of the half-tribe of Manasseh, Golan in Bashan with its pasture lands, the city of refuge for the slayer, and Beeshtara with its pasture lands two cities, and out of the tribe of Issachar, Kishon with its pasture lands, Debrath with its pasture lands, Jarmut with its pasture lands, and Ganim with its pasture lands four cities, and out of the tribe of Asher, Mishul with its pasture lands, Abdon with its pasture lands, Helkoth with its pasture lands, and Riab with its pasture lands four cities, and out of the tribe of Naphtali, Kadesh in Galilee with its pasture lands, the city of refuge for the slayer, Hamath Dor with its pasture lands, and Cardin with its pasture lands three cities. The cities of the several families of the Gershonites were in all thirteen cities with their pasture lands. And to the rest of the Levites, the Merarite families, were given out of the tribe of Zebulun, John Am with its pasture lands, Karta with its pasture lands, Dimna with its pasture lands, Nahalal with its pasture lands four cities, and out of the tribe of Reuben, Bezer with its pasture lands, Hahaz with its pasture lands, Kadimoth with its pasture lands, and Mephaath with its pasture lands four cities, and out of the tribe of Gad, Ramath in Gilead with its pasture lands, the city of Refuge for the Slayer, Mehanaim with its pasture lands, Heshbon with its pasture lands, Jazer with its pasture lands four cities in all. As for the cities of the several Merarite families, that is, the remainder of the families of the Levites, those allotted to them were in all twelve cities. The cities of the Levites in the midst of the possession of the people of Israel were in all forty-eight cities with their pasture lands. These cities had each its pasture lands round about it, so it was with all these cities. Thus the Lord gave to Israel all the land which he swore to give to their fathers, and having taken possession of it, they settled there. And the Lord gave them rest on every side just as he had sworn to their fathers, not one of all their enemies had withstood them, for the Lord had given all their enemies into their hands. Not one of all the good promises which the Lord had made to the house of Israel had failed, all came to pass.